I want to share with you how to make this delicious sauce in less than 20 minutes with ingredients you should have in your pantry. If you do not have these ingredients, then consider always buying them because they will make cooking easier for you and you can end up with really, really delicious meals. So if you want to see what these pantry ingredients are and want to see the recipe for this, keep watching. I'll start by cutting our bell peppers. I always have a bear in the fridge. It might be just green, it might be just red, it might be just yellow, but you will always find bell peppers in my kitchen because there's so many recipes you can use with bell peppers. In the next couple of videos, I will show you ways that I use bell peppers in my kitchen to just create really fast and delicious meals. But for this recipe, we're going to be using all three colors red green and yellow because i believe they have different flavors and they look very vibrant on your plate and they taste so so good i'm trying to cut the bell peppers as uniform as i can so that they all have the same pattern uniform and looking good on the plate and to me that's very important because if you've been on my channel long enough you will know that i say that we eat with our nose we eat with our eyes so sometimes what you perceive can just make you hungry and crave the food and then sometimes what you see just makes the food very very inviting if you are a lover of delicious good looking nutritious food you really should get my cookbooks because lots of them have amazing pictures of food also recipes that you can recreate in your house with just a few ingredients so if you're interested click the link in my description to download my cookbooks you can also get them on amazon and you'll be glad that you did because these recipes are awesome Now I'm going to add some purple onion and that's because it gives a lot of flavor and it is very colorful. I'm trying to cut them in similar shapes to the way I cut the bell peppers. You guys, look how vibrant this bowl of mixed veg is looking. So pretty. I don't even want to cook it. I just want to eat it like this. Next I have my prawns. I'm going to season with some fish stock powder some salt and some black pepper freshly ground black pepper i love it because it's more potent after adding the black pepper we're just going to mix everything together so that the seasoning enters our prawns Now in a pan, I'm going to add some chili oil. I got this chili oil lately and I've come to like it. So it's just oil that has the flavor of chili. You can use any other kind of oil that you have. I've added the prawns and I'm just going to cook them till they are almost done. Remember, we're going to put them in the sauce later on so you don't want to overcook it now. So once the color has changed like this, I'll flip it around and then I'll take it off the heat. If you've watched the video up to this point and you're enjoying it, please click the like button because it helps me out. It lets me know that I should do more of this kind of videos so that you can enjoy. So let me know by clicking the like button and also leaving a lovely comment. Next 
Next, I'm going to add some sesame oil. This is going to add a lot of rich flavor. And then I have my garlic ginger paste. I've added that to the pan. Just stir fry that a bit. Let it fry till it is aromatic. Like it makes the whole kitchen, in fact, the whole house. I have this blend of pepper and onion that I always keep in the fridge as well. So I'm just adding that. All these little ingredients that I prep and keep in my fridge, they make cooking easier for me. Now we're going to add our bell pepper and our onions and just mix everything together. Next, I'm going to add a bit of dark soy sauce, some light soy sauce, and then oyster sauce and mix everything together. Also, these are what I consider pantry staples. I will always have this type of sauces in my fridge. Now, I also have corn flour. I always have corn flour at home. So you're adding that corn flour and some water to make a slurry and then you transfer it to the pan. This is going to thicken the sauce. Next, I'm going to add some sweet chili sauce. This is optional. I just wanted to add it to add a bit of sweetness and then mix everything together. Now add the cooked prawns and then you add some spring onions and you mix everything together. Turn off the heat at this point so that your vegetables are still vibrant and the flavors are still really, really good. You don't want them to be soggy. Our sauce is ready and it looks and tastes so good. I typically have this with rice or with pasta or you can have your potatoes and yam, couscous, whatever you like. But I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do and you love it, let me know in the comment section and share on your social media. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!